Hello. Hi. <laughs> so my video looks extra dark because I got this lovely little drop cloth action going on. <laughs> looks like I got like a like I'm not even leaning on anything. Crazy. Yep. So I have prepared because I have a feeling it's gonna get a little messy. Had to prepare. So video is looking a little extra dark on my end um, because of this lovely trash bag I have made as a drop cloth. I've shared it before. It's one of the best things you can do. Run to the Dollar Tree and grab you a couple boxes of black trash bags. Just cut off the bottom and cut up one side and unfold it and you have the perfect drop cloth for any kind of painting or messy activities. So, um, and you get like, I wanna say it's like five bags for a dollar. So, there are better deals elsewhere, but if you need something in a pinch, it's perfect. Hi, Mom! And I see Bethany there. Hey, Bethany! So, um, yeah, anyway, so, if the video is looking extra dark, I apologize. It's only because I don't want to get paint all over my house or my table. So, um, I already put this down. Hope y'all had a great weekend. We did not do um, much. What did we do on Saturday? Stayed home most of the day. Saturday night, went and had a little game night with um, a couple of friends. Not that much of a game night, just like four of us. Me and Philip and two friends. And then um, yesterday, Philip went to the bar to watch the Seahawks game, and I stayed home and did some planning and some work and some cleaning. Ran to the Walmart, and um, yeah, that's about it. Pretty lazy weekend for us. Um, yesterday was cold. We got snow on Saturday. We got about an inch on Saturday. Yesterday it was a bit warmer, like low 40s, so it started melting. And today we're still in the 40s, but we're expected to get like into the 50s and 60s for they're thanking the next two weeks. So we have a little bit more fall ahead of us. If you can hear that in the background, that is the dog scavenging for water. We are, um, rationing out his water, putting it in just a little dish, and putting a little bit in the dish at a time, putting it on the floor, so he's trying to lick every little drop out of the dish. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, like I said, hope y'all are doing good. By now, if people enjoy, if they're gonna join, um, they can, of course, join later. But let's go ahead and get started with tonight's martini. Of course, with Halloween in just a couple weeks, I figured a nice little candy martini would be nice. Um, when I was looking at martinis, I did not realize that this one had gin. And if you saw my post earlier, I'm not a fan of gin. We had a friend who a long time ago was moving and gave us a bottle of um, gin. Hey, Milo. And it was a aged bottle. Of, this was like a super, super old bottle of gin. So we don't know if it was nasty because it was old or if it was just because it was gin and maybe the brand. But um, I've tried a few different gins. I am just not a fan. And there's so many other martinis I could be making that are not vodka based and are gin based. But I have yet to find a gin I like. I had to go to the store last week to get some. We actually spent, like, I don't spend a lot for the booze. I mean, this is coming out of my own pocket. And um, I buy pretty cheap alcohol. We actually spent like 25 bucks for a bottle of gin. That doesn't mean it's gonna be good. But when you're talking about gin, 
Bombay is one of those brands you hear quite often. So, um, fingers crossed it's good. Sweet Tart Martini. Let me tell you about it. It is um, one part gin. One part gin. Y'all, seriously. I hope this is good. If you have any recommendations, I would gladly take them. <laughs> if you have a gin you like, let me know. If you have a gin martini that you like, let me know. I'll try it. Um, you need one part gin, one fourth part melon liqueur. You need one third. Okay, that smells funky already. Okay, Milo, so if this is horrible, I'm gonna blame you. Because if you're saying Bombay, Bombay is good, then, um, but this isn't Bombay Sapphire. I don't know if that makes a difference. It doesn't say Sapphire, whatever. Okay, anyways, one part gin, one fourth part melon liqueur, one, third part sweet and sour you're gonna mix all those up in a shaker move them out of the way I don't know why I'm liking it all you're gonna pour and of course not get very much out there it is that green drink. Y'all know how I feel about green drinks. Unless it's a green apple martini, um, green drinks um, don't go well. Okay, so you pour all that into your um, glass and then you're just gonna top it with a lemon lime soda. I've got, what do I have to I have 7-Up. Top it with a um, lemon lime soda. Here we go. We're gonna cross our fingers that um, it doesn't smell awful now. It smelled awful in the shaker. It's not awful, but it's not a favorite. I think if I added more melon liqueur, it would be better. It's okay. But it's probably not one I'm going to make again. <laughs> Keep it real. Probably not going to make it again. Okay, so let me move these couple of things out of the way because we have a messy night ahead of us. This is one of those things that I've done a couple of times. I, um... It's worked out for me a couple of times, but I have a feeling that when I do it this evening, it will not go as well. But it's going to get a little messy. Now, this is something that you can do with the kids, if you've got children. Um, but it does require supervision because if you have children and have just given them paint, guess what? They get it everywhere, and you are surprised at where they can get it. All right, this is like, it's like drag painting. I don't know if there's a more technical term to it or whatever, but um, basically all you need is some canvases, a ton of paint, some kind of straight edge, like a, um, you could use credit card, a straight piece of cardboard, a um, squeegee, something that's got a straight edge that's going to be a little bit, you know, durable, that's not going to, you know, bend in half when you um, use it. And then, of course, a drop cloth of some kind. That's all you need. Seriously. Super easy. And you can go to Walmart and get acrylic paint for 50 cents a two. You can go to Walmart and get some canvases, super cheap canvases, a three-pack for less than three bucks. So these are two that I made prior 
So if you wanted to make, um, of course, if you wanted to make giant pieces of wall art, you just need larger canvases. Um, but here is the ones I have made the past couple of days. Super simple. So if you've got a large wall space in your home, whatever size canvas you want. If you've got, um, if you want to do like three canvases, all you have to do is, um, like, let me show you. All you have to do is just like, when you're doing this, just position them close to each other, just like that. That way, so, when you're done, you have three pieces of art that are all the same like shades and colors and theme. And, um, who is messaging me? Someone is messaging me. <laughs> Take that down. All right, but, so let me pull all my little supplies out here. Got a canvas. You do need something to put underneath your um, canvas. Only because if you leave it on whatever drop cloth you have, as it dries, I don't know if you can tell, you're gonna have these like little edges. So when you go to peel it off, it's gonna leave these little edges. Of course, you could take like a little file and like file it down, but to make it simple, if you just put something underneath, prevents it all. The paint falls off, no worries. So anyways, if you want to do um, three, if you want like a great big piece and you want three separate canvases, all you do is just make sure they are positioned right next to each other. Then, straight, like I said, a straight edge, edge of any kind. You could use, this is in the paint department. I think this is like a wallpaper scraper. You could take a couple of pieces of cardboard. I just print, uh, pulled off a couple of, um, you know, from the, actually from this box right here. I just cut the um, sides off the flaps of this box and you'd want to use the flat side. You could use a um, card of some kind, but I'm going to use a paint scraper only because um, I like the way it is. Then you just need a crap ton of paint and yes, that is an official measurement. Um, whatever color scheme you want, I had asked earlier if anybody had any color recommendations or suggestions and nobody said anything. So we're gonna go with the blue again. Now, um, I gotta say you just need a crap ton of paint. So all you're gonna do is whatever colors you want. Let's see, I wanna use my bottles that are like almost empty because my paint drawer is actually getting kind of um, full. <laughs> so anyway, all you're gonna do, watch this. Seriously, just go the length of your um, canvas. If, if you run, if, like I said, it doesn't matter. There is no rhyme or reason to this. You're just going to put a crap ton of paint all over this canvas. And whatever color scheme you want, if you just want pinks, just go get a whole bunch of pinks. Just try and put as much paint on it as you can because, and guess what, in a, um, Because if you want to um, just put less of one color, you can. I'm only going to put a little bit of that dark color. There is a lighter blue, which is actually kind of close to that one, so I don't want to do as much. I'm going to put a tiny bit of black just to, um, I'm going to put a couple of spots of it in. Uh, let's see. What about some dark blue? But like I said, just a ton of paint. You could do a, you could, if you wanted to, you could do like an ombre type thing. Just do dark colors on top and then work towards lighter if you want. And of course, if you were doing three canvases, you're doing this across all three canvases. So, um, 
like I said, this is whatever you, this is your um, art. I mean, you decide what you want to do. I want to do some white. And like I said, make sure you just have a good drop cloth because um, paint's going to go everywhere in a minute. I'm going to do a little bit of this. You don't have to cover up all the white, but um, in a minute you'll see when you go to drag your tool across it, um, if um, it has not covered it, it's probably going to leave, leave a little bit. Um, like I said, a ton of paint. And if you let your kids do this, just make sure you are watching because <laughs> it's going to get messy. I want to add a touch more black just because. Why not? All right. So there we go. Now, your next step is to make sure you have something to wipe off your straight edge. I'm just going to use this box. Um, you could use a rag, you could use paper towels. If you um, are able to, you can wipe it off onto your drop cloth. But what you're going to do is you are going to take your straight edge and all you're going to do is just go real lightly right across now before you swipe again you're going to want to like i said take a paper towel or something and wipe off most of that and just keep going across wipe so if you wanted to like i said you could do um an ombre type effect where you do darker starting on one side and then um, go towards lighter to the other side. And I've got paint pulling up over here. Now if you want to, you can turn it around and go from the other side. Like I said, this is a, not a clean craft. And what's nice is since you are scraping most of it off, it's going to dry fairly quickly. <clears throat> quickly as I mean like in a few hours. Not Definitely not something that could be done like an hour. That's it, seriously. That is it. You just want to make sure you wipe it off between each swipe. Otherwise, you're going to be picking up um, paint and mixing it in with the colors the wrong way, and you're going to end up having a very ugly mixture of um, colors. If you see your um, paint swipes, you don't like that, you just, like I said, it's just very slow. Very slow drag across. So, here we go. Very, so imagine doing like three of them. They could, and the thing is, if you wanted to, you could completely um, do the colors on three different ones or all three canvases different and um, swipe across all three. Just make sure you leave a little bit of a gap that way so the paint can fall in between. And then um, you've got three pieces of wall art that you can hang up next to each other on a wall and it will brighten up a room. All you have to do is add like a hook or something on the back. You can frame it if you want. Um, use the stretch canvases that way so you can um, 
hang it up better. Um, I think stretch canvases look better on the wall anyway. But make sure, like I said, that you swipe between each swipe. Because, look, you got all this paint. I'm going to move this out of the way. Yes, I still have my pajama pants, y'all. Yep. So, there we go. All that paint was pushed off. So, it's not... Um, now, there's some people that they would take, and I didn't think to actually do it, you could take, and since all of that is swirled really nice and pretty, if you wanted to, you could kind of probably spread that around just this tiny bit. You don't want to spread it much because then you're mixing it. Um, but then you could take a canvas or something and press into it, and you will pick up whatever pattern you see on the um, table or drop cloth onto your canvas. So it's really pretty and it's really cool. And you got that seafoam green mixed in there. So um, super, super easy, very quick. Like, I, I mean, we just did that in like no time. I don't want to, I'm gonna get like paint on my screen, aren't I? Yep, I was gonna do one more, but um, I don't have much time. And I wanna make sure I don't do any paint. I probably don't have time to really do this. But um, I wanted to do this, so we'll just see. I'm going to get paint like all over the place. This is a smaller canvas, so it probably won't need as much. I thought I would have time to do like two, obviously. It's because I am horrible with... Um, Gauging time. I just got reds, yellows, oranges. Like I said, just like I said, it's super simple. Whatever you want, just a crap ton of paint. Yes, that's all. A crap ton of paint. Whatever colors you want. If you've got, um, if you're into this kind of art, because I know some people. This isn't their thing. Um, it's going to get messy. If you don't like messy, this isn't your thing. Um, you can buy a set. I mean, I got like these little tiny acrylic paints at um, Ross. There was like 24 little packs of it for like $4.99. Yep. Like I said, not a clean craft. If you have some aversion to mess, then guess what? This ain't your thing. Okay, here we are, one last time. Now, if you wanted to, if you like the beach scene, you could layer it into um, where you do like yellows and reds and oranges at the top for like a sunset. And then you could do like blues for the ocean and then do like browns and yellows at the bottom for the sand and then pull across and it will all um, combine really well and it would look a bit like a beach scene. So I guess, and then I'm going to just turn around. Like I said, just make sure you swipe after each one. All you're doing is pushing paint. And so here we are. I have done two pieces in like 15 minutes. Not even 15 minutes, because I spent so much time talking. Whatever color scheme you want. So think about that. If you've got a party you're doing, you could do this on paper and make it your tablecloth. It will take a... You just gotta make sure your paper is durable because um, if you try and lift it too soon, it will fall through. 
There we go. Like I said, that's it. Isn't that cool? So imagine like three of them together. If you, you don't even have to do it long wise, you could do it short wise if you wanted. Either way. Huh? I think that's awesome. So anybody that says they cannot make, they, they don't have art for their house. Well, crap. I just um, threw it onto um, another canvas. So let's try this out real quick. Since I've already like put paint on this canvas. Let's see. I've got a crap ton of paint here, so let's see if I can spread this out a tiny bit. Nope. I've already colors are too um, weird together. Anyway, why not? We go across, and then I'm just gonna come back over here on this side. It's probably gonna look like mud. But guess what? Oh, that's actually kind of neat. And guess what? My garage is going up. So that means Phillips home. And then I'm just gonna pull this. Look at this, y'all. Boop, just like that. If you need something like super colorful, this could work. If you're into the super color thing, I kind of like monochromatic, you know, everything in the same color field. So, almost. Here we go. Actually, let's see. And there's the husband. <laughs> Hello. If you didn't hear him, he said hi. Almost. So anyway, this way you do have to, if you have more colors, you do have to work a little bit harder to make it not look like you dragged something across. But anyway, there you go. Not bad. This was gonna go in the trash because this is not something I would <laughs> do. So, anyways, like I said, super messy, super messy. So that's it. Um, next week, next week. I don't know if this is gonna be like a new tradition or something, but quick Halloween costumes. I have been working super hard on these super quick Halloween costumes, especially meant for people that, um, if you want to wear a Halloween costume and go to work, but don't want to spend a ton of money or time putting it together. So, um, next Monday night is super quick Halloween costumes. You can throw together at the last minute. I've got eight of them. I did this last year and I had a ton of fun with it. So we're gonna do it again this year. Um, and we're gonna start with the Mad Hatter Martini because it's a week before Halloween. So, all that being said, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your Monday night. And you will join me next Monday night. Do me a favor, go to Facebook, go to YouTube, Instagram, Pinterest, look my pages. I started a, um, I have a link in my Instagram bio that has links to everything I have shared um, in the past and also has links to all those pages and to the website. So do me a favor, go to Martinis with Vanda at Instagram and click on that and check them all out. Let me know what you think. Again, send me your ideas. That's it. So I will see you guys next week. Love y'all. Bye.